Hello YouTube. This is uh, Tom here. So I want to give you a, just an FYI sort of video on removing rusty fasteners. As you can see, this uh, axle is pretty rusty. It's been sitting for quite a while. So it's pretty rusted together and don't want to come apart. What I'm doing is I'm taking the, uh, the hub off with the axle shaft because I'm going to keep it off this axle. The rest of the axle is garbage to me. So I'm going to chuck it. But I'm being a little bit of a pain. So this is going to be best ways to remove rusty fasteners or rusty stuff in general off your vehicle the DIY way. Now you look up how to remove rusty fasteners, uh, Eric the car guy, he uses his oxyacetylene torch. Now not anybody, not everyone wants to go out to like Harbor Freight and buy that little oxyacetylene torch kit for I think a couple hundred bucks. No one wants to do that. Um, another guy I saw remove something rusty, I believe it was Chris Fix, he was using propane. Now that's great and all, but the problem with propane, it don't get hot enough to actually make a difference on removing rusty stuff. What you want is this stuff called map gas. And what it is, it's a different type of uh, gas, kind of like propane, but only it burns hotter. Now, this is sort of in between propane and oxyacetylene torch. This is your best bet. You can get this at hard. You can get this at a, actually a kit at a hardware store for I think like forty bucks or something like that. It's a better alternative to propane, and that's what I'm going to be using. Another good thing against rusty fasteners is impacts. This is my uh, half-inch battery-powered Matco uh, impact. This has breakaway rating at 700 foot-pounds. That's quite a bit for an electric impact. And then I have a good hammer here with a wedge on it. It doesn't really matter. You can have any type of hammer. So, what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to try and impact these bolts off first and see what it does. And now I'm going to impact them loosening and tightening. Go back and forth. You don't exactly want to break these bolts, which they've had, I've had a couple break before using impact tools on them. Rarely, but usually. Another thing is, one thing I didn't like about Jeep, is they use a 12 point head on it. So I have a 13 mil with a 12 point, uh, point socket to get that on there. And we'll see if uh, there's also a wobble socket on here so I can get to it. We're going to see if this will undo the bolt. We're going to loosen it first. actually went pretty damn good. That's one thing I hate with these rusty stuff. You can never get your socket back. There we go. That's one. It actually wasn't too bad. I had one that was already a pain to me. Let's try this one. Whoops. Sorry there. Wow, that one actually came off too. Well then. 
I wonder about the last one, which I have to turn this to the other side. So I'll move you to see the other side. We'll see if this one's a pain. Now for this one, since this one, uh, the other two didn't give me really any much trouble, I'll just go through what I usually do when it starts giving me trouble. Like I said, on the impact, I'll start going loosen, then tighten, loosen, just to see if it'll move. And sometimes it'll move. The one, whoops, sorry, the one, when I was loosening it, it was moving the head back and forth, but the other end you couldn't see it move, so actually this bolt was twisting. That's how you break them. So, sometimes what I do is I like to hit it, knock all the rusty crud off, because that don't make it good to get heat to where you want it. And I'm just kind of... Uh, move you back a bit. I just want to get the crusty stuff off. Alright. You can also grab a screwdriver and do that and just scrape it off. You just want to get the loose stuff off. So you can have good penetrating. The other thing I forgot to mention is penetrating oil. That's good stuff to use. But it's very flammable, so I'm not exactly going to do that right now. I'll basically go through the motions of this. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll heat it up really nice and then hit it with a hammer where it goes through. That can usually be the shock and awe method to get it loose or break its rusted seal. Alright, that's been going on for a few minutes. And what I was heating is what it was going through. You don't exactly want to heat the bolt, you want to heat what it goes through so it expands and breaks the rust seal. So now like what I'll do is take a hammer, I'll take this one with the wedge, I'm just going to whack this right here a bit. What it goes through a bit, kind of do a shock and awe method, get it to break loose, and then uh, move that so I can get my impact on there and try it. That made it come loose, I think much faster than the other two, but it probably didn't need it. Ow, that's hot. But, you kind of get the picture. So, best uh, heat to use when you're a DIYer and you don't want to buy an oxyacetylene torch, propane's not hot enough. Map gas is what you want to get. Like I said, you can get this kit from like Ace with a uh, skinny bottle. I had this bottle laying around and this head for I think it was like 40 bucks. This is the best this is the next best thing to oxyacetylene. So propane doesn't get hot enough. This is your best next choice. Map gas. So I just figure share that information with you. So there you go. That's an FYI for you for removing rusty fasteners. See you next time.